Hey guys, uh, welcome to a beautiful fall day in Tokyo. We are here at Kawasaki Industrial Center. Uh, we have today a uh, comic convention called Brave and Bold. Uh, it's one of the only comic conventions in Tokyo right now. And I am tabling today. And I'd like to show you and introduce you to a Japanese comic convention. So let's go in, let's go. So we are in the back room of Brave and Bold Convention. <laughs> this is the event organizer. And founder. And founder, founder. Yoshi. Hi, nice. Uh, everyone, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, my name is Yoshimichi Majima. I, uh, I started this event uh, seven years ago uh, when uh, one of my best friends in comic book uh, industry, uh, Ryan Benjamin, came to Japan for the first time. Um, I tried to organize some, uh, a small event for him. Um, uh, so that he can draw, you know, uh, uh, commissions. He can draw some art, uh, so prints and stuff. And uh, it, was, it started out as a very small uh, uh, show, but over the seven years, it grew. Uh, it grew. Uh, you know, I started getting more foreign guests. Uh, you know, more uh, Japanese uh, professionals uh, domestically. So you started this for Ryan. Pretty much. Right? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, but it was like Crazy. seven years ago yeah. when he came, first came yeah. to Japan. Yeah. There was no convention at all. Yeah. Okay. So Japan. currently, yeah. uh, Yoshi organizes two events a year. Mm -hmm. uh, one in the early summer. Uh, the summer. Early uh, summer and in the fall winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And there used to be a big convention in Tokyo. Uh, but since it's gone, it's Yoshi gone. is the only one who organizes <laughs> conventions now. So, well, it's temporality. <laughs> Next year, no, live it time. up, man. You're the king right now. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so uh, basically, I'm the uh, first one of the uh, first one, yeah. the only one who's doing this. Uh, it is like American comics is still pretty niche, mm -hmm. I would say. Uh, I mean, when I first moved here 15, 16 years ago, no one knew right. of Iron Man or Thor or anything. Uh, yeah. So it's amazing to see yeah. uh, that it's grown enough that it can support two shows a year, mm -hmm. even three shows when Tokyo Comic Con was around. Um, it's it's really amazing to me. Right. Um, and right. I just wanted to thank you for organizing shows every year for the artists to gather right. and people All to right. buy art and stuff. It's thank been... you so much for coming. No, of course, man. It's, it's been amazing. <laughs> um, one last question: Like, how do you see the the convention growing? Okay. Uh, yeah. Right now, unfortunately, you know, I, I think it's everywhere the same. Um, you know, because of COVID pandemic thing, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, because of uh, COVID uh, pandemic thing, uh, we, are, we are forced to have smaller shows at the moment. Yeah. But uh, I, I definitely see that we are going to have a, a bigger, even bigger shows upcoming years. Yeah. I'm going to get more foreign guests, yeah. you know, uh, 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 artists from uh, uh, Asia, uh, artists from, uh, you know, uh, Europe, uh, yeah. USA, of course, yeah. and mo even more uh, Japanese guests. Yeah. So uh, hopefully it will be a biggest show in Asia. Yep. So oh, That's awesome. That's a good plan. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, thanks, man. Like, well, I hope so to, to see the con get even bigger and yep. with more success for you. Yep. Thank so. you so much. Okay. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. I'm here with Eric. Uh, say hi. hi, Eric. Could you introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm a uh, Taiwanese American. Uh, I've lived in Japan for the last decade or so, and I've been doing uh, a lot of sort of original comic art, and uh, recently got to do a couple covers, which has been pretty nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, was it uh, Tarzan? Tarzan, and then I also did two Red Sonja covers. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you're one of the few foreigners that come to uh, conventions in Tokyo on a regular basis. How do you like it? It's really nice. I yeah. mean, the crowds are always very nice, very yeah. friendly. They're and so uh, polite. <laughs> yeah, and then you, you get to sort of recognize the regulars that come. Yeah. And they always take the time to chat with you. Yeah. They bring you gifts. Yes. <laughs> it's like amazing. And uh, I always feel bad because they're so thankful when they receive like their pieces of artwork. Yeah. And uh, I wish there was more I could do for them, but then <laughs> yeah. they're giving me stuff, and it's yeah. yeah I know, right? They're always so patient too. Yep. So um, it's a great place to be able to do commissions. Could you want to show some of your work? Sure. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, can you tell us like what you usually use? Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, you're doing this new thing. Yeah. So Whoa, like. Uh, cool. I've been having like sort of this uh, production line where I have to wait for stuff to dry, so I'm just oh, doing the base. Okay. 
colors and then doing the details after. Okay, so what's the, I can tell it's just, is it pencil? It's colored pencil and Copic inks. Oh. So this is Captain Marvel that was just finished. Yeah. And it's just a new style I've been trying out for this convention. So you just put this straight onto the paper? Yeah, so Copic actually came out with like a new, new paper. Yeah. Especially for ink art. Oh, damn, okay, I didn't know that. So usually I use Copic markers for all of my regular client work. Uh -huh. So just wanted to branch out, maybe use the same materials, but okay. use them in a new and more exciting way. Okay. And so it sucks the ink better? Is that what the difference is? It sort of spreads more slowly. Yeah. So you can like add drops of like clear alcohol or just layer different colors on. Oh, okay. And then you can control it for a little bit before it starts to set in. Yeah. So it's been really fun to experiment. It's really unpredictable though, so oh. still trying to get used to it. It looks kind of watercolory, but it's more solid than watercolor. Yeah, it's so. got like, especially the darker colors. Yeah. There's that sort of gloss coat yeah. to it. Yeah, That's it kind of really cool. cool. Okay. So are you planning on doing any conventions overseas next uh, year? So hopefully, if things settle down, I'll be traveling with uh, a couple of my art buddies, uh, Art Germ and the Singapore crew, yeah. and hopefully a couple shows in the US. Yeah, like New York, I want to go to New York. Oh, I definitely want to go back to New York. Uh, maybe Chicago. Chicago or uh, Emerald City or something. Right. Um, yeah. So hopefully, I'll see you there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. All right, thanks. <laughs> thanks So uh, we're wrapping up here, uh, Brave and Bold, Volume 7. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys got a good taste of what a convention in Tokyo is like, uh, and hopefully I'll see you guys again next year. Okay, bye. <laughs>